Sit down, relax with your palms facing upwards. Breathe slowly and gently. Breathing in gently and deeply and clear your mind. Relax. Relax. Relax your shoulders. Relax your body. Relax. 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 Visualize at the top of your head golden white light, the love of source energy shining up above on top of your head. Slowly, gently going down through your crown chakra and moving slowly and gently to your eye, third eye chakra. Feel the warmth, the gentle loving energy Visualize this golden white light, beautiful and warm, moving slowly down to your throat chakra, filling it with love and joy and warmth. Visualize this golden white light, bright and beautiful. And it's slowly moving down to your heart. Greetings, dear ones. I am Kryon of Magnetic Service. There's always a system. And in this particular case, the system would honor the old soul. Dear ones, we have said before to you, the ones who make the difference on the planet at this point in time are the ones who have the most experience. And when we say the most experience, we mean those who have lived again and again in the energy of what you call the earth. An experienced human being who has lived life after life we call an old soul. I would like to tell you something if you didn't already know it. The old souls are the ones who are awakening. An old soul could be under 20, over 80, it doesn't matter. For the oldness refers to how many lifetimes you've had and how wise you are today because of it. And even now, there would be those who would ask, am I an old soul? I want to give you some parameters just to think about in these last moments of this meeting. But before I do that, I again want to tell you something. I see the sweetness, the beauty, the purpose, 
of your being here. I come from the other side of the veil where there is no time. The perception there is different from here. In that place, if you want to call it a place, there is acknowledgement of all that you are. We see the frustrations of the single life you live and at the same time the beauty of the lives you've lived before. We've seen what you've been for, been through and what you believe you are here for. We see it all at once. And still you wonder, am I, am I an old soul? <laughs> and it's amazing for us as you sit here listening. Amazing that you would ask the question at all. Dear ones, there is so much here that I want you to feel that I cannot even speak of. I want this message to ring with truth so you know who you are. I want to start a journey of you asking the questions to validate that which you already know at some level. You are an old soul. Let me make a statement. I know who is here and everyone who is here listening to my voice at the moment in this room our old souls, all of you, every single one. There is such a variety in the length of time you've been on the planet, what you've experienced, the various cultures that you have been in, the battles you've been through, the reasons you came. I want to tell you the experience is vast and it's not what you think. You're so linear you think you came in life after life after life and sometimes you were a sailor and sometimes you were a mother and sometimes you were a cook. That'd be nice if it were that simple. But it isn't. When I mean experience, I mean experience. What do you call a soul who comes in for three months and leaves? By agreement with their parents so that a lesson would be learned or delivered or an opportunity would be given for the parent to become spiritual through their sorrow. What about that? That is a lifetime that is profound and only three months long old soul did you know that you would have done something like that so basic so profound and so meaningful perhaps a mother has awakened spiritually and asked the profound questions of her life because of what you did what you agreed to do What about coming to this earth to only live till you're 19 and be terminated on a battlefield with a knife through you? And you might say, what good does that do anyone? I would like to say to you, dear human being, that every breath you take as an old soul on this planet is meaningful, is countable, is recorded and beautiful and some of you had to be on the battlefield as the ones who fell and some of you had to be on the battlefield as the victors and that is experience and you might say what possible thing would it would it keep us in a system of learning what possible good does that do Perhaps you'd remember it enough 
that someday you'd have the power within you to say there will be no more battlefields because it doesn't matter whether you're the winner or the loser. They're both low energy. That's experience, old soul. I want to give you the attributes of an old soul slowly and I'm going to ask you for introspection. In other words, a word that says, I want you to analyze these things personally. Don't lie to yourself. Don't be in denial. <laughs> I want you to sit and clear yourself right now, old soul. The first reason you know you're an old soul is because you're here. You don't have a room filled with human beings who are simply curious. At this level, learning these kinds of things in this energy, it's almost all old souls. Did you want to come? Even if you were dragged here by someone who wanted you to observe what took place, I will tell you, old soul, that is synchronicity. No accident. The first reason you know you're an old soul is because you're here. Dear ones, what do you think about when we speak? Do you hear cry on? Do you want to hear cry on? Or are you thinking about dinner later? Hmm. Be honest. Old souls are curious about so much. But when it comes to this energy, they're attracted to it like a moth to a flame. You recognize why you're here. And at some level, you want more. A sponge for the information you are, not through curiosity, but because it's beginning to ring with the truth of the age. That's number one.